Hi, uh, welcome to evening prayer. Tonight we are reading and praying through Psalm 26. So if you haven't done so already, why not open up your Bible app to Psalm 26 or get your, uh, your printed copy of the Psalms. I'll be reading the NIV tonight. And as well as reading through the Psalms, this comes uh, as part of our 10 days of prayer. Um, 10 days where we're crying out to God for men and women, boys and girls, people we know, people we love, friends, colleagues, that they would turn to Jesus, that they would know how much God loves them, that they would know the, the purpose in life that comes from following Jesus. And tonight we are thinking particularly around worship. And that means that... Um, as we have maybe experienced uh, both the longing and the fulfilment that comes from worship, that the people we're praying for, that they would experience that too. You know, scripture unfolds a story that, that shows that humans are made for worship. Like that's what we're for. Um, that's when we're fulfilled, is when we're, we're worshipping. Um, <clears throat> God loves us and God longs to have a, a mutual loving relationship with us like a parent and a child or like um like a like two lovers uh, that's what god wants for us and that's what worship is it's it's our expression of that uh, that mutual love and so that's what we're going to be praying about hopefully praying passionately as uh, as we pray through psalm 26 but as well as passion tonight is about peace Tonight's a time to offer God all our, our thoughts and our worries and everything that's tangled up in our minds. So let's just take a moment to, to breathe and be still. We light this candle as a sign of Christ's presence with us. Lord Jesus, light of the world, thank you for your peace. Thank you for your presence. Lord, gather up all our scattered thoughts and centre us again in you. Psalm 26 and David is kind of uh, arguing uh, with God a little bit wrestling with God um, saying that he's been blameless he's led a blameless life but he recognizes that uh, part of that blamelessness if if not the root of it um, is that he's been mindful of God's unfailing love He's trusted in the Lord. That's the source of this righteousness he's talking about. It's appropriate for tonight because it talks uh, about worship. It talks about um, David proclaiming aloud God's praise, loving the place where God's glory dwells, um, standing in the in, among the congregation and saying, I will praise the Lord. It's an amazing reminder that David, from his youth, long before he was a king, was a songwriter. He had this intimate relationship with God and for him that was expressed in song lyrics. Um, and so I hope we'll, we'll desire for ourselves and for the people we're praying for, not just that we can read these amazing words of scripture that David wrote, but that we can have our own intimate relationship with God, just like David that we can express our hearts to God in our own words, even if we're not amazing singers or songwriters, that we can express spirit to spirit to God. We long for that for ourselves and for those we're praying for tonight. Let's pray. Psalm 26. Vindicate me, Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, Lord, and try me. 
Examine my heart and my mind, for I have always been mindful of your unfailing love and have lived in reliance on your faithfulness. I do not sit with the deceitful, nor do I associate with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and refuse to sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house where you live, the place where your glory dwells. Don't take away my soul along with sinners, my life with those who are bloodthirsty and whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. I lead a blameless life. Deliver me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground in the great congregation. I will praise the Lord. So we just want to use these words to jump off into prayer and maybe just take a minute to um, to call to mind a few names, a few faces of people we're going to be praying for, people you love, uh, family, friends, neighbours, work colleagues, whoever the Lord puts on your heart. And Lord, we just thank you that you have made us for worship. God, we thank you um, that we are part of your amazing creation, declaring your glory. And Lord, thank you for the fulfilment that we experience when we praise you and when we have that intimate face-to-face relationship with you. God, would you deepen that relationship for each of us? Or if we've grown a bit stale, Lord, will you call us back to it? Lord, thank you that you pursue us like a lover. God, I pray that we would respond um, to that romance. And we pray the same, Lord, for those we have in mind, that they would turn to you, Lord, and know how much, how deeply, how passionately you love them. You care about them. You are, you're crazy about them, Lord. We want them to know. And we want them to be crazy about you too, God. We want them to uh, just love you so deeply and find fulfilment in worship. Lord David writes, about um, not wanting to be associated with deceitful people, those whose right hand is full of wickedness and schemes. And God, we, we just know some people in our own lives who are tangled up in wickedness, who are tangled up in schemes. Lord, they're suffering at the hands of evildoers. And sometimes they themselves are evildoers as well. And God, we see the hurt that that causes them. We see the hurt that that causes to those around them. And Lord, we just want to pray uh, these words of David, Lord, that you would deliver them. Deliver them, Lord. Lift them out of those circumstances. Lift them out of that way of life so that they could say that they've got a blameless life. God, be merciful to them. God, thank you that you are merciful, God. Thank you that uh, those people that we know, those people that we love, and we ourselves can have a blank slate, a fresh start again and again and again. Lord, those difficult situations they're in or the things that place their trust in, Lord, they're like sinking sand. God, we want to pray that you uh, deliver them out and set their feet on level ground. Set their feet on level ground in Jesus so that they could stand in the great congregation and say, I will praise the Lord. Lord, we long to be united with these people in love. We long to be standing shoulder to shoulder with them, singing your praise. Yeah, Lord, just as you are deeply passionate about these people, God, keep us passionate about them. Keep us praying for them. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's amazing to know that uh, the people that were on your heart, however much you care about them, God cares about them more. Uh, God is passionate about this. God is passionate about loving um, God's people uh, and them experiencing the fulfillment of uh, of a, a two-way loving relationship with God. So let's stay passionate in prayer. Let's keep this going. Let's keep uh, knocking on the door. 
and seeking God in prayer. Grace and peace to you.